I found that serving God in my life, it seems kind of like a, a room that's filled with darkness. And once you open the door a little bit and the light enters the room, it just starts to fill the room up. And I found that with serving God, once I open the door a little bit, once I seek opportunities a little bit and open the door for Him to come in, the light, the opportunities just flood the room. There was a period in my life where I really struggled to trust God. I doubted God. I wasn't seeking Him. And I work in pediatric emergency medicine now, and we see some difficult things. And sometimes you get pretty upset with God. Why does this child go through abuse like this? Why do these kids suffer? Why do the families, why are they hurting? When we're doing missions trips and you see people struggling to find food, where is God in that? Through some of these times, I've struggled to have faith and trust and, and believe that He loves and cares. Um, and I think what's crazy is that God still would put opportunities in front of me to serve. When I was in medical school, I ended up at a missions hospital in Zambia called Mukingi. And so obviously there are a lot of diseases there that they deal with that we don't have here, one of which is malaria. And there was this girl who came in, she was probably six or seven years old at the time. And her father carried her in. She was limp, she was not, would not sit up, she wouldn't wake up. So he laid her down on the bed and we examined her. We put an IV in uh, and then we started the medication. So then I had a conversation with her father because I didn't want to give him false hope. So I told him I thought it was pretty unlikely that she was going to recover and very likely that she could pass away from the malarial infection. Next morning I came back and her body wasn't on the bed where I had seen her the night before. And so I talked with the nurses and they said that they actually had moved her to another room. And then I went back the next day and she started to wake up and she was looking at me. And then a few days later, she was back to her normal health. And it was one of the craziest things that I've seen. Uh, you've ne I've never been more proud to be wrong in my life. And it's also a very humbling thing uh, because I think in medicine, there's some things we think we understand and know, but sometimes God just steps in and does things that we can't comprehend. I will never forget the feeling that I had when I finished my pediatric board exam and I had pretty much reached the pinnacle, you know, in medicine. You, you've accomplished everything, completed everything, it's done. And I have never felt so empty in my life because I was like, wow, there's nothing left to chase after. There's nothing left to pursue, to work on. This is it. And so I think as a Christian, there's nothing that's brought me more joy in my life, more sustained joy than serving others, uh, because I know that what I'm doing when I'm doing that is making an eternal impact. I don't even have my medical school diploma up on my wall, because looking at it, it's, it's a neat opportunity that God has brought me, but the photos and just the memories of people that I've had the opportunity to serve and love uh, means so much more than a personal accomplishment. After college, I kind of became friends with a couple of guys uh, that were really serious about their faith. And so we kind of latched onto a verse, Luke 9, 23. If anyone wants to come after me, he must take up his cross, deny himself daily, and follow me. And so it was something that we prayed and talked about daily. And because we were doing that, it became more natural. It became more of a mindset that we had. Because that was something that we were earnestly desiring, God just has continued to bring opportunities in my life to serve and to love others. Being in medicine, you realize that every role in the hospital is valuable. You know, people always thank the doctors. They always thank the doctors and the nurses. Nobody thanks the cleaning staff. But if we don't have the cleaning staff there, then the hospital is gonna be dirty and unsanitary and people are gonna get all these infections because the hospital isn't clean. So I, my hope is that people understand, regardless of what we're doing uh, to serve others or how we're able to serve others, it all is impactful.